how to connect your Qi e Smart Timer to CS Timer so you don't have to manually type your times each time you solve. So what you'll need is, of course, your Qi e Smart Timer and an auxiliary cable. Now this works with the regular Qi e Timer as well, but if you haven't ordered the timer yet, I wouldn't recommend buying an aux cable yet until you've received your timer especially if you're not living in the US, right? Because I made the mistake of buying the 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter cable. And uh, to my surprise, when my timer arrived, it actually comes with a 3.5 millimeter input. And so I guess they make them differently worldwide. And so I wouldn't suggest buying the cable before that. So I guess I took an L with this one. So the first thing you want to do is to connect your aux cable to your timer and then connect the other end to your computer's microphone jack. Okay, so we're in my computer. What you want to do is go to cstimer.net and I recommend using Google Chrome for this. And um, I'm on incognito because I've already done this in my regular browser. So once you're in, Go to the top left gear icon, which is option, go under timer and where it says entering times with, click timer and click on stack mat. Now this should give you a pop up looking like this, which you should allow while visiting the site. And click on OK. Now this should be what um, your timer looks like if it's off and then I'm just gonna turn it on here and immediately um, it's gonna recognize your timer just in case your timer doesn't pick up on CS timer you wanna go to your sound settings and input device should be your the microphone port that you selected early on which on Windows it would be Realtek audio and it should work once you've done everything correctly, you should be able to turn your timer on and it should reflect what's on the screen. And here's the ultimate test. And boom, just like that. And it will be a bit delayed. However, it is the exact time on the timer that's reflected on CS timer. So how many times did I say timer? Anyway, hopefully that was helpful for you and if it was helpful in any way, then make sure to subscribe for more helpful cubing videos. Cheers.